um, NCLEX category that you're talking on here is infection um, prevention and control, okay? Which nationally students do have some challenges with this. And so I want you to definitely listen um, attentively. And of course, in, uh, if you have any questions um, on this content, you can go ahead and put it in a Q&A section and we'll get it out at our next section, okay? So the purpose um, of our um, personal protective equipment we know is to protect exposure to blood and body fluids, okay? It does have different components. We are all already familiar with our eye protection, our mask, our gown, and our, and our gloves, and the purpose of those things. We know that in regards to um, mask, we have um, different types of masks, and depending on the type of precaution or um, organism will determine which type we will use, okay? And we'll go over that. It also talks about different types of gloves. We know that many facilities, organizations don't use as much. We still do have latex, but we make sure that um, we know that constant exposure to that can cause even nurses to have an allergy to that. And then also the, all the other um, equipment. What's critical for NCLEX is making sure that you understand um, the ordering in Dunning, right? In terms of how you put your PPE on, and how you remove it and how do you expose of it correctly or dispose of it, okay? Um, and all of, the, all of that is a lot dependent upon your facility policy in terms of where you would expose um, that um, um, equipment. However, in terms of dunning your PPE, ordering is really important. So this is something you definitely wanna highlight um, this can be seen in a drag and drop. It could be seen in a select all that apply, et cetera. So um, in terms of your um, sequence, you always begin, you wash your hands, right? We don't go on done PPE with dirty hands. You're going to put on your, um, your gown, uh, your mask, your goggles, and then your gloves. And then when you're removing your PPE in terms of your sequence, which is, again, very critical, and NCLEX really wants you to know this, um, is you're going to remove those contaminated gloves, and then you're going to remove those um, goggles, then you're going to remove your gown, remember, from inward out, rolling away from, okay, and then um, finally, it'll be your mask, and the goal is making sure that you follow that sequence um, correctly. Remember, when you're removing uh, your um, mask or your goggles, you're making sure that you're not when you um, remove your goggles, for example, you're not touching the, the outside of your goggles, right? You're using your strap. Same thing with your mask, you're using um, your strap, okay? Because all, everything else is considered contaminated. That's important uh, for you to know. Isolation guidelines. First one we start with here is droplet precautions, okay? You see that uh, droplet precaution sign, and it tells you droplet precautions in addition to standard precautions, okay? And it also tells you that your hands must be washed. Um, visitors need to see the nurse. We're gonna make sure that you um, wear a mask. And really, we don't see this consistently the way we should, but if a patient is on droplet precaution, the door should be closed, okay? Um, you wear your mask with, within three feet. Um, you make sure that, um, you know, the patient can expel those organisms when they cough, when they sneeze, when they talk, when they sing. Um, your patient should be transported um, with that mask on um, because we don't want them to um, expel those organisms, okay? These are the um, common diseases that are spread by droplet. Many of them you already know, but it's important that you know because you can ask, be asked a question. Your patient presents um, with um, influenza, um, which isolation precaution would the nurse institute? And so you would institute droplet precaution. Same for meningitis, mycoplasma pneumonia, ptosis, strep mumps, influenza, rubella, okay? So that's important to note. We are in a different time right now. We're in a pandemic, right? And so we are all masking up. So you would add that on here, right? In terms of 
um, COVID-19, but we also know um, we would institute some additional things in practice. Airborne transmission.